Alright, so this is my first time, or our first time, playing a bourbon. We just watched a video on it. So now I'm just sharpening my knife. And how you start, well I, I just wiped off some slime. Now, I'm going to go just behind here, right? Look at the meat, eh? Right there, right here. I'm gonna go along with that. Oh, yeah, that's better. Just around the skin here. I'm gonna hold that back there for you. You got that. Hold on. Thin, Saudi way. Yeah. So apparently, you cut just around it, and then you get the pliers. You twist it a bit and you peel it right off. There you go. Look wow. at that. Wow. So you go blade up just like you're cutting a deer. Here it's easy. Oh, oh, see, it is tough though, eh? Tough, but. Mm -hmm. Alright. Once you sever it all, just like that. It smells like a. Uh, smells like a uh, eel. Eh? Does it? Yeah. What they call this? Eel 2 or something, too? Something like that. Eel poat? Eel poat? Yeah. Now, I'm going to just twist here with pliers. Better grip so I don't break anything. Twist. And pull. Yeah, pull this off, I believe. Much more smoother. Yeah. Oh. Much more smoother. Just give it a little effort. Wow. wow. There that is. The video that I saw, what did he do? He uh, the didn't, guy like he didn't break. He didn't even gut it. No. Till like the end. Yeah. Until but, he got to the meat. Mm -hmm. the idea but even is, the even the so I gotta take these off as well. Yeah. So but he just ripped them off with the pliers. Yeah. So I gotta end. grab the pliers from here, from the back here, end here. And rip it off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so let's clean this up first. Oh, it guts. Let me get that back. It looks like a clean fish. Like a nice meaty fish. Yeah, it does have a lot of meat on it for sure. Now what's that? I don't know what that is. It's heart. <laughs> Maybe. Oh yeah, it is, is it? its heart. What the mean? Ling apparently have a heart near the asshole. Yeah, huh. so I cut his heart. <laughs> but apparently Ling, and they, that's why they call them lawyers. Because they're the heart's closer to the ass. <laughs> yeah, they're also known as lawyers too. So that is the heart. Wow, you actually guessed the good. It doesn't look exactly does, like yeah, what it, it is. Yeah. They have their hearts right near their asshole, and that's why sometimes people call them lawyers. <laughs> it's a pretty funny joke there. <laughs> but isn't that weird? I just figured that out. Look at it. Right near yeah. its ass. Wow. Insane. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that. No, I hate fish hearts before. It's gross. No, you want maybe the soup and stuff would be alright. Yeah. Right up the tackle it one day. Grab these, no, back right? one. From the back one? Right here? No, you start from the back and rip up and it's all one piece. From the very I, end. This probably isn't going to go as smooth as... It's actually not bad, right? Just rip them off, one by one. Didn't you pull it all along? Yeah, I did. But, I guess... Not even... It's a smaller impossible. one, right? We took some of it off from the skin as well. Did we? I think we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, look at that. So yeah. I did a better job, alright. Just got to rip off the fins. All right, there's not much meat on this thing. Now, start from the spine. Mm -hmm. Right over here. On either side of it, right? Yeah, either side. In the middle here, you can kind of see where your spine is. I can actually feel it. You go just along it. Just put the tip in a little bit. Find way easier. And I think by once you get past the anal fin over there and the bottom, you can go all the way through just like a perch. The rib cage stops at that flat part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Open that up and see if I can see it. Oh yeah. There you go, just like that. Oh, you went through the face. No, did you? No, okay, nice. Okay. The radio could go kind of cross, yeah. right? Yeah, same thing like a perch. Lay it for the tail. Yeah. There you go. 
Oh, we do two more of these. <laughs> this is known as like a not popular meat too. Eh? Yeah, because like a lot of people they just like even in like in the nineties, it's getting more popular now, but like a few years ago, you know, a lot of people would just throw them and leave them on the ice. They thought they were just like garbage meat. But look, it doesn't even look garbage though, you know? No, it looks pretty muscular, man. Alright, so we're gonna do that. That's nice. Okay, we're gonna do that on the other side. And see how much meat we got. So now I'm just gonna put it in some cold water. Just to get all the blood. And maybe even some bones that I cut into. We'll cut the rest up. And I'm gonna show you guys the rest of the meat. Oh yeah, man. Look at that. A nice chunk of meat right there. Poor man's lobster. There you go. Just kind of pull it out. Now I gotta try to save this belly meat. Just like that. So you just pull out those fins just with some pliers, just like that. Came out nice and easy, eh? If you look at the belly here, usually there'll be like a thin layer of meat. And on a bigger fish, it'll be a lot bigger. But that's, I feel like... That's how thin it would be right there. Yeah. You can see that? That's how thin the belly yeah. meat would have been. Yeah, a lot thinner, especially when you come around here. Yeah. So on a bigger fish, it's more worth it. I feel like now... When you try to do it, it's just not going to be worth the extra effort. If you can do it, why not? But this, this is more than enough meat for that kind of fish. Just, just follow this rib cage. My finger is feeling the back of the spine here, and my knife is just in front of it. And what my finger is doing is opening it so I can see where I'm cutting, and I'm just following it. When you hear that rib cutting sound, that, that means you're getting good cuts. This is a really easy fillet right here. When you get to the back, it's smooth. Yeah. It goes straight yeah. to meet it. Now I can even probably Beautiful. turn this around. Just watching. My hands. Don't cut myself. My blade is tilted down towards the spine. And just follow that through. So you see this? That's when you know you did a good job. You can see the bones. Now when you look at mine, you'll see much more bones. I mean, I know you guys can't see much there. I'm trying to get it for you. <laughs> nice. Ain't it? Maybe, maybe gonna do a fish and chips thing. A bunch of stuff with it. So I'm gonna fillet this, put it in salt water, clean up all the stuff, pat it down, put it in a Ziploc bag. I'm gonna date it. Why not? And within a month, maybe less, I'll probably. Right up. Like that? Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. How'd it go with the small one? Would you say it's smaller than your filleting knife? Not worth keeping a link? Like that size? For filleting it? If yeah. I caught just one? Yeah. No. I mean, uh, sometimes you can't really control it, right? Yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd maybe gut it first, like you could still gut it first probably. Yeah, Like a, and then peel the like, skin off? With, yeah, because the smaller one, if the guts are going to come out anyways, maybe gut it first and then you could peel the skin off. Yeah. Just cut around the ring, I think I'd rather do that well, if it's a smaller one. If it tastes really good, then it's going to be worth it for the smaller one. Yeah, speed, definitely. Right? So I still haven't had this yet. Yeah. Alright, that's the last. So we're going to go inside for a little water. It's going to be ready for the freezer. <laughs> 